All right. Look how ugly I am. Jesus, fuck. I'm doing like a dozen videos tonight because I'm probably manic. I'm not shaved. I'm just fucking getting all the ideas at once. And so I want to record them. So I post them. But this one is a piece of dialogue that could be in the movie that I want to make. Um, one character is explaining to another character, kind of like Pulp Fiction, and one character is like, um, I, one says, you know, I, I just love how peanut butter and jelly fit together so well. It's really one of the delicious treats. It's like mayo on a, a chicken sandwich. Just delicious. And the other guy says, yeah, it's one of the best nidges out there. The other guy says, what's a nidge? And the other guy that heard about the peanut butter and jelly says, there are two things when it comes to combining things. You either get conflation, a mistake, or nidge. A successful combination. That's peanut butter and jelly. The gold standard. So these two characters have personality, you see. And then the first saying says, Yeah, but why did you call it a nidge? Where does that come from? The other guy says, Well, the etymology of it, if you must know, is because it's a nudge towards nigger. A nudge, a nigger nudge, a nidge. A little nidge towards nigger. And the first guy can say, what are you, what are you, did you just say the N-word? The fuck are you? What are you trying to do? That's just absolutely beyond the pale. Unacceptable. How do you feel like you can say that word? And nidge? You think you're clever? Nothing about that word is funny. And then the guy says, I don't know, man. Once I got the nigger eagles and I couldn't stop. And the first guy goes, no, seriously, that is an awful fucking thing to say. Like, you should be ashamed. It's not okay. And the other guy says, well, hey, I guess save it for gauge day. Then the first character says, gauge day? What's that? And then the next character says, again... Uh, you know, it's the day for offensive shit. It's the day for nigger. It's, uh, it's the day for pedophilia and Holocaust porn and, and every kind of blackface and, you know, Latino face and everything offensive. Everything uh, Nazi about you and G.G. Allen about you comes out. That's gauge day. And so this conversation allows us to introduce the topics and then later on when the character that created Nidge and Gage, which obviously is based off me and Austin, talks with his parents and either one of two things happens. Actually, no, I know it's not one of two. It's one of one things that has to happen. He has to let slip a word and his parents make it clear that he has to leave the room. Like, that's just unacceptable language to have at the table talk. That's, you know, we're eating here, and that was wrong. Go away. So, and then the guy goes away, and he just, on his way out, he says something offensive and just annoys them further. And that begins the movie... Uh, those two, like that conversation, peanut butter and jelly, and then offending your family at the table. Those are the t first two scenes of our movie. Now, if we were wildly successful, like Pulp Fiction, we would have like a time delay and different scenes from different places, different characters, and it would be violent and happening and fun. And so that's obviously a goal. In Clerks, they had necrophilia and they, you know, they were trying to explore what's offensive. And if you think about the second Clerks, 
uh, one character says that he's a porch monkey. Another one says that's a racial slur. Don't say it. And he's like, no, you know, my grandmother said it. And then Wanda Sykes is there to make the joke, uh, which is essentially you're you're being offensive to black people. And of course, the, the guy that is being offensive says the N-word. Oh, God. I think I'm manic sometimes. I wish I could change that. <laughs>